G'day everybody, it's me again. I've got this Amiga 2500 here. Uh, it's an unknown condition. No idea what, how, why or when. No idea if it's functional or not. It looks clean, doesn't look corroded anywhere. It's got a hard drive on the hard card, but the SCSI cable isn't connected. And yeah, gonna have to have a look here. It's uh, currently plugged in through the mono video to the big TV. And uh, we'll hit the power switch and see if it explodes or not, because uh, like I said, it's unknown. Um, it would be a shame if it was dead. It does have the extended uh, CPU board. It's an A2500, so it's fully loaded. As far as I understand, Amiga's anyway. So we'll give this power button a hit. Oh, straight away. Oh, it doesn't look happy. It's not looking happy. I'm getting some strange artifacts on the camera there. Well, what we can try doing, I think, is try reseating all of the connectors. Could be some corrosion somewhere. Give everything a wiggle. And uh, try again. I guess. Like I said, I don't know much about Amigas, so whatever happens is only guessing. Could be a dead electrolytic somewhere, even though they all look fairly good. Don't know. It'd be a shame if it's dead. I'm sure somebody might be able to use the parts though. So uh, I'll have a bit of a fiddle and then we'll come back to it. Well, it appears we may have a victim of uh, battery leak death here. Uh, it's not looking too hopeful, but battery has leaked, definitely. Uh, it could be, I think it could be worse than it is. Or it could look worse than it is, I should say. But, um, yeah, there's definitely a bit of corrosion around there. I'm going to have to try just wiggling all the chips and um, praying, basically, I think. I mean everything looks fairly well seated, everything looks like it's okay. The corrosion doesn't actually look like it's moved that far from the battery itself, but you never know. You do never know. There is a bit of corrosion around there. I might have to very gently um, give that CPU a wobble there. That's the uh, 68,000 CPU by the looks. Yep. And uh, just have to pray really. I don't really want to spend terribly large amounts of time on it if it's dead completely. It's a shame because it is loaded. It's full of RAM chips. Everything's full. These ROMs are seated well. I might actually even pull these cards out and reseat them properly. See how that goes, but yeah. Be kind of devastating if it's irreparable. gets stuck in a loop and we don't know what colour it is because oh wait it's not stuck in its loop anymore it stopped well, maybe there is signs of life drive isn't ticking it's not looking for a disc well being stuck at one solid uh, screen is better than the constant reboot it's been doing so it's not constantly rebooting anymore maybe I just have to do the wiggles start wiggling and jiggling everything and just uh, see if it comes to life well I have another wiggle and jiggle and we'll have another shot but I would be expecting the uh, kickstart screen to have appeared by now mm, more wiggling more jiggling aha Motherfucking success. There's something uh, sad with the hard drive card. As soon as I remove that it booted, it could be a RAM issue. I have read they have they can have RAM issues on the hard drive cards. So this is a good sign. I'm going to have to remove that battery. I'm going to have to desolder it before it becomes more of an issue. And uh, it's time to go find a boot disc and see if she'll fire. So uh, once again, I'll go find a boot disc and we'll see if it'll boot. 
Okay, so we've got a Disc Here March Deluxe Paint 4. Chuck that in the drive. Something's happening. The disc is unreadable. Oh, damn. Don't tell me we've got a cooked floppy drive as well. Alright, we'll try something different. Relo kick 1.3 ROM. Sounds dangerous. Try anyway. This is unreadable. <laughs> oh no. I hope after all of this we haven't got a dud drive. Stuff knows how old these discs are. I wonder if it's possible to clean the head. Smash TV, I remember that game. I shall try again. I wonder what the differences between uh, a PC drive and the Amiga drives were. Maybe I'll wait for the ROM image to appear first. Gimme disc, bitch. Oh, a guru meditation. I knew they were, I knew they are good. It's funny the way it doesn't display right on this TV. I didn't expect it to, to be honest. Maybe this drive is really sick really sick. I really don't know what will boot or what won't on this thing as well. So this is a workbench disc at all. I wonder if it's possible to write Amiga discs using a PC drive as well. That's another be another another issue how to get information across even if I can download it. Don't know, there's no workbench disc. It's like this is some old games collection. Doom 2, you're dreaming. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Alright, we'll try Battle Chess. I remember Battle Chess as well. But I have a feeling this drive is a dud. At least maybe I need to clean the head somehow. We should blow the dust out of it for a start. I'm getting a guru meditation without even trying. Maybe something else is going south now. Right, we're getting that again. Yeah, I have a feeling that drive is shitty. Disc is unreadable. Oh well. At least it runs. I'm going to have to do some investigation into this hard card. Maybe there's an operating system on the hard drive that will boot and uh, see how I go with it. And I'll leave it at that for the moment. Thanks for watching.